In today's video, I'm gonna build the real life Jarvis with the help of AI, and I'll walk you through my process. And before we start, let's take a quick look into what it's gonna be able to do. Hey Jarvis, what is 48 times 53? Sir, 48 times 53 equals 2, 5, and 44. How far is Australia from Austria? The distance from Australia to Austria is approximately 14,000 kilometers or 8,700 miles, sir. Create an image of a blue elephant wearing a funny hat. A blue elephant wearing a funny hat. So step one, we need a framework. To get started, I used Next.js as my framework so I can easily separate backend from frontend and use the API with my private keys. And for a second step, we're gonna need a pretty UI. I've decided to go with Next UI. It has some great components and it uses Tailwind CSS under the hood. Once we have that, we need to be able to recognize what the user will be saying. So for that, I'll use the built-in speech recognition from the browser. And now, since we can transcribe what the user will be saying, let's set up our backend part. And for that, we'll go to our fourth step, which is our API. And of course, to make the Jarvis smart, we're gonna use GPT-4 model from OpenAI with our custom prompt. And so the prompt is, you are a helpful assistant from Iron Man movie, Jarvis. You have to act like him and try to help me with all of my questions. You should also call me sir. Oh, and if someone asks you about Arthur, tell them he's a big papa. And now that we have AI answering to our questions, we gotta need to convert that text from the response into human-like voice. And for that, we're gonna use another API from OpenAI for text-to-speech. And with that, we're gonna generate a file and send it back to our user. Nice, so now that we can receive questions and reply to them with the voice, let's make our helper more creative by adding an option to generate images from our requests. Step number six. To generate our images, I'm gonna add an instruction to our AI to check for text that looks like a request to generate an image and reply with the format that we can later use to check if there was a such request and create the image based on that prompt. And for that, we're gonna use Dolly and send the API to get the image URL. And of course, to make it cool, let's add an option to play some music for us. And for that step, we don't even need to send any requests to our backend. We can simply check if our transcript contains certain words and then simply add a player. And our last step, testing. Hey Jarvis, let's rock. Welcome back, sir. All systems will be prepared in a few minutes. For now, feel free to go grab a cup of coffee and have a good day. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. See you in the next one. Peace.